Hello everyone, and welcome back to Grey Online Classic. Whoops. I meant to say error. Welcome back to Grey Online Error. Doing a Blue Cat Weapon Closet. Today will probably be the final episode of doing actual firearms. The next episode will probably be about melee weapons. Hmm. <laughs> Thing is, though, I don't want to invest any more money in buying just more guns just to talk about it. I mean... Buy guns just to talk about it? Really? And thing is, though, I don't want anybody to give me melees either, because... Well, let's admit, because of scammers, people, other... No matter how much somebody is your best friend is, you just, literally, you can't trust them. Only, only if you know, only if you know, that they would not scam you whatsoever. But people, a lot of people these days are backstabbers, unfortunately. <laughs> Anyways, today we're going to talk about the Grailian's Bow and the Uzis, both of them. So, let's get started with the Grailian's Bow. A very unique weapon known for shooting arrows. Yeah, inside Mafia game, but that makes sense. Anyways, normal damage is... Well, shit. I have no idea what the normal damage is. Uh... Uh... Oh, hold up, you know what? I think I just might need a testing dummy. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the video, I'm gonna log on to a second account of mine, and I'm gonna go to a PKA and I'm gonna shoot him once, at 50 HP. This way I can determine um, what's the damage? Because when you always get the Greylands bow, it's it's always in rusty, always, and there's no repair station either. So I don't know. I couldn't tell you if I knew, but that's why I'm gonna find out right now. So uh, right, see you guys later. I just had to do this just for just a quick second. Okay, guys. So after. After doing the uh, ex testing dummy experiment, on this gun, this weapon actually, deals 7 damage actually. So, 8 maximum, 7 normal, and 5 minimum. 5 is actually the damage that it always does because there's no repair station and it al it's always on rusty. Well, of course it's always on, but once you first get the weapon, it's always it's still rusty. So, that's far as I know, of course. Uh okay. So, seven damage, normal. Fire type, it is a well, bow and arrow. So, either way, though, it's a semi-automatic. So, fire type, semi-automatic, bow and arrow. Clip size is two. I kinda wish this gun didn't have a clip size at all. You would just keep shooting. Because, uh. Why would it even make sense to reload? <laughs> I mean, might as well just make the clip size 1 if you have to reload. So, arrows per shot is 1. Mm -hmm. Uh, accuracy. As far as I'm seeing, I think it has perfect accuracy. Yeah, I think it has perfect accuracy. Uh, freeze rate. The freeze rate is very low, actually. Look how low that freeze rate is. That's ridiculously low. So, very low freeze rate. Almost slim to none, actually. The fire rate, though, is slow. Yeah, slow fire rate. Reload speed though, it's probably it's very fast. It almost is barely stopping. Just to reload. 
And the price is zero. It's a free weapon, you can find it inside the classic house. Let's go through the little door. A little bit of a special feature, though. Uh, I don't know how this works. I think it's slash like this. <laughs> no, not like that. Oh, yeah, there it is. You can say slash cats to shoot cats. Oh, what a coincidence that I'm a cat. And then, you can say slash... Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't think that one works anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably got a copyright. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can say slash cats or shoot cats. I'm not too sure about the Nyan Cat one. I don't know if that one even works anymore. <laughs> I really just not sure. Okay, though. But, uh... PK recommended, no. Spa recommended, no. Base recommended, no. Street recommended, no. Not a recommended weapon, folks. Alright, so, now we move on to the next gun. The Uzis. Well, Uzi. Normal damage is now 5. Yeah. Normal damage is 5. Maximum damage is 6. Minimum damage is three. The clips, uh, the fire type. It is a automatic. So you hold your fire button to shoot. All right. The clip size is sixteen bullets. For such a small gun, that's a big, pretty big clip size. That's about the same clip size as your average M4 or Famous, whatever one you prefer. Bullet per shot is one. The accuracy, it, it has a random spread, so it's, it's pretty inaccurate. That's a good thing. The freeze rates. This is why Sparrows love this gun so fucking much. Check out that freeze rate. <laughs> and for the damage, six. That's pretty good. With the clip size, that's also pretty good. But you see why gun, why Sparrows love this gun so much? The accuracy is, is random. The clip size is 16, so look how many times you get to shoot before you get the load. And plus, it deals 6 damage and it's such a low freeze rate. It's very low freeze rate. The fire rate, though, it is moderate. It's a moderate fire rate, I would say. Yeah, there's not too many guns on arrow that has a really slow fire rate. Not too many of them. I don't know if it even, even has a, such a slow fire rate. Reload speed. This is probably one of the downfalls, though. The reload speed is, I would say, short. But dual Uzis, reload speed could be a problem. Uh, the price it is... I think it. I think this is six hundred and fifty. Yeah, I think these are six hundred and fifty. I might look further into that, and then the next Blue Cat episode, if it's wrong, I'll correct it. Okay. All right. So, PK recommended. Uh, I have a friend. <laughs> she loves using the um the Uzis. And I've seen her PK with it. She does pretty good. So now I'm actually considering if it's good for PK or not. Coming from my perspective, though, nah. This gun would be definitely a spawn weapon. This is definitely a spawn weapon. A base weapon? Hmm. I've seen better basing weapons than this. Streak recommended. Mm, nah. Nah. Not a streak recommended weapon. So, just spar. If you're a sparer, and, well, you're looking for a decent gun to use, it's a gun that a lot of people like to use. Like, a lot of sparers, they, they like to use the M4, the Sten, the, um, the recently, I think it's called the AB-8. A lot of them like using that. The Uzi's is another good one. As presented, it's a good one. Uh, the bar is suitable for, um, spar, but, like I said in the episode, not too many spoilers like it when, when you do so. I don't know why. It's, 
If they're using a bar, then use a bar, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Again, I've learned that from experience. Anyways. No. No. There we go. Duel. Now, this is, these are dual Uzis, so the normal damage still remains at, what was it, 5? I believe it's 5. So, you know, maximum damage 6, minimum damage 3. The fire type, it's still an automatic. So, again, we gotta hold the shoot. The clip size, though, is now double to 32. So, the clip size is now 32. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good clip size. Bullets per shot is 2. That's a good. That's really good. Because since they both shoot at a random spread, it's kind of hard to dodge them. Considering the fact that they do shoot randomly. Alright, I'm back again. I just had to go back for a small interruption. But anyways, nothing much. Accuracy, like I said, is pretty inaccurate. Random spread. That's a good thing, though. I just, gonna want, I just want to keep pointing that out. That's a good thing. But the freeze rate... You do stop for a little bit longer, but that's no big deal. It's still a very low freeze rate. The fire rate. I think it's still at moderate. Not too much of a difference of a firing speed between the two. Reload speed. This is the flaw of it. It's how long you stand there. It didn't look like you didn't really stand too long. But in a situation where you're both low on health, that reload speed could absolutely kill you. Especially if you're not careful. I, when I mean not careful, I mean running out with... See how much ammo I had left? I have two bullets. So if you shoot, you miss, and then you think like you have more, because you're not looking at, the, at your clip, then you reload, and you actually have to dodge a bullet, you're going to die. Considering the, freeze, the reload speed is a little bit slow. So I'll say the reload speed's moderate. Because sometimes, the, like I said, the reload speed could actually kill you. PK recommended? Hmm. Actually, I would say yes. Just because of the fact that you have two bullets now. And your clip size is doubled. But still don't really matter. Your clip size is still 16. Technically, because you're shooting two bullets. 32 divided by 2 is 16. So you're only shooting 16 times before you have to reload. And with one Uzi, you're only shooting 16 times before you have to reload. So technically, both the clip sizes are exactly the same. From a technical standpoint, like that. Spar recommended? Definitely. Because of that random spread and uh, the freeze rates, this is bar recommended. But just keep an eye out for your reloads, okay? Base recommended? Still no. And streak recommended? No. Because the shipker and the base, the shipker is best for um, streaking and basing. Even though the shipker has almost nothing to do with the Uzis, it's, you know, think about it. They both shoot, shoot two bullets. Shipker does the same thing, but shipker has more damage. And the clip size of the shipka is technically 20, because, again, you're shooting two bullets, and the clip size of the shipka is 40, so you're shooting 20 times for you to reload. So, you know, that's the way I, I, that's the way I see it, okay? <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, <clears throat> that's it. This is probably the last episode that will have to do with guns. For quite a while, actually. Until new guns come out, that's actually good, and not expensive, like... The, uh, the AB-8s, or the M8A1, or the K, uh, KAP-40, or the Sawed-Off, the Sawed-Off AK, AK, or the sawed Shotgun, I believe it's called. Yeah, I don't want to invest in guns like that, <laughs> just to talk about it. I'm not as well just you have the ones that I have, and choose that any good guns that I'll still use on a regular basis. So yeah, last episode for guns for quite a while. Kind of sad it's me, because now we're going to move on to melees. But still, nonetheless, as long as there's still Blue Cat we Weapon Closet episodes, I'm happy. And hopefully you guys are happy. <laughs> Alright guys, once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys another day. <laughs> <laughs>